Pretty in Pink is a 1986 American romantic comedy film about love and social cliques in American high schools in the 1980s. A cult classic, it is commonly identified as a Brat Pack film. It was directed by Howard Deutsch, produced by Lauren Schuler Donner, and written by John Hughes, who also served as co executive producer. It was named after the song by the psychedelic Furs. The film's soundtrack has been rated as one of the best in modern cinema. It features a re-recorded version of the title song by the psychedelic Furs. Orchestral maneuvers in the darks, If You Leave, became an international hit and charted at number 4 on the Billboard Hot 100 in May 1986. Topic. Plot High school senior Andy Walsh lives with her underemployed working-class father, Jack, in a Chicago suburb. Andy's best friend, Phil, Ducky, Dale, is in love with her, but is afraid to tell her how he truly feels. In school, Ducky and Andy, along with their friends, are harassed and bullied by the arrogant, Richie. Kids, specifically Benny Hansen and her boyfriend Steph McKee, who is secretly interested in Andy. While working after school at Trax, a new wave record store, Andy starts talking about her school's senior prom to her manager Iona, who advises Andy to go, despite not having a date. Blaine McDonough, one of the preppy boys and Steph's best friend, starts talking to Andy and eventually asks her out. On the night of the date, Andy waits for Blaine at Trax, but he is late. Ducky comes in and asks Andy to go out with him, but she ignores him. Feeling like she got stood up, Iona gives Andy a pep talk, while Ducky, still oblivious, asks what's wrong. When Blaine arrives, Ducky is upset and starts an argument with Andy, with Ducky trying to convince her that Blaine will only hurt her. Ducky storms off and Andy goes on with her date. Blaine suggests going to a house party Steph is throwing, but Andy is treated poorly, and bullied by everyone, including a drunk Steph and Benny. Andy, in turn, suggests going to the local club, where they discover Iona sitting with Ducky, who is hostile towards Blaine. After another argument with Ducky, Andy and Blaine walk out of the club. Andy, feeling that their night didn't go so well, tells Blaine that she wants to go home, but when Blaine offers to take her home, she refuses, admitting that she doesn't want him to see where she lives. She eventually allows him to drop her off and he asks her to the prom, which she accepts and they share their first kiss. Andy visits Iona at her apartment the next day to talk about the date. Meanwhile, Blaine, pressured by Steph, begins distancing himself from Andy. Jack comes home one night and surprises Andy with a pink dress he bought for her. Questioning how he was able to afford it, Andy tells him that she knows he has been lying about going to a full-time job. They have a big argument until Jack breaks down, revealing that he is still bitter and depressed about his wife having left him. At school, Andy confronts Blaine for avoiding her and not returning her calls. When asked about prom, he claims that he had already asked somebody else but had forgotten. Andy starts calling Blaine a liar and tells him that he is ashamed of being seen with her. Andy runs away as a teary-eyed Blaine leaves, with Steph criticizing Andy. Ducky overhears Steph and attacks him in the hallway. The two fight before teachers intervene. Andy goes to Iona, crying and telling her about what happened, and then asks for Iona's old prom dress. Using the fabric from Iona's dress and the dress her father bought, Andy creates a new pink prom dress. When she arrives at the prom, Andy has second thoughts about braving the crowd on her own until she sees Ducky. They reconcile and walk into the ballroom hand in hand. As a drunk Steph begins mocking the couple, Blaine confronts him and finally realizes that Steph resents Andy because she had turned down his advances. Blaine then approaches the two, shaking Ducky's hand and then apologizing to Andy, telling her that he always believed in her and that he will always love her, kissing her cheek before walking out. 
Ducky concedes that Blaine is not like the other rich kids at school and advises Andy to go after him, joking that he'll never take her to another prom if she doesn't. Ducky then sees a girl smiling at him, signaling him to come over and dance with her. Andy catches up with Blaine in the parking lot and they kiss passionately. Topic. Cast Charlie Sheen was originally considered for the role of Blaine, but Ringwald convinced the filmmakers to cast McCarthy for the role instead. Topic. Alternate ending Originally, the film portrayed Andy and Ducky ending up together, however, test audiences disapproved, and the Andy, Blaine ending was produced instead. Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark had selected, Goddess of Love, from the album The Pacific Age for the original ending. With only two days before going on tour, OMD wrote, If you leave, in less than 24 hours for the newly re-shot Andy, Blaine ending. Topic. Novel The film was adapted into a novel, written by H. B. Gilmore and Randy Raisfield and released in 1986. It was published by Bantam Books ISBN 0-553-25944-X. ISBN 978-0553259445. The book was written before the last scene was changed, so it has the original ending, in which Andy winds up with Ducky instead of Blaine. Topic. Release The film was the top-grossing film for the week of March 12, 1986. The film earned $6.1 million during its opening weekend and $40.5 million during its theatrical run. It was the 22nd highest grossing film in 1986. Topic. Reception Rotten Tomatoes, a review aggregator, reports that 78% of 46 surveyed critics gave the film a positive review. The average rating is 6.3/10. The site's consensus reads: Molly Ringwald gives an outstanding performance in this sweet, intelligent teen comedy that takes an ancient premise and injects it with insight and wit. Topic: Legacy. The main cast of Pretty in Pink was featured in the October 15, 2010 issue of Entertainment Weekly, whose theme was cast reunions for landmark films and television shows. Topic soundtrack Like previous films by John Hughes, Pretty in Pink featured a soundtrack composed mostly of new wave music. While director Howard Deutsch originally intended the film to primarily contain theme music, Hughes influenced Deutsch's decision to use post-punk music throughout the film. The title song by the Psychedelic Furs acted as a bit of inspiration for the film and was re-recorded specifically for the film's opening sequence in a version that was less raw than the original. It was released in 1981 for the album Talk Talk Talk. Left of Center was remixed by Arthur Baker. The first track, If You Leave, by Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark, was written in 1985 in advance specifically for the film. In addition to their song, Shellshock, New Order also had an instrumental version of Thieves Like Us and the instrumental Allegia appear in the film but not on the soundtrack. The Rave Ups, who do appear in the film performing Positively Lost Me and Shut Up from their Town and Country album, do not have any songs on the soundtrack album. Nick Kershaw's Wouldn't It Be Good appears as re-recorded by former Three Dog Night vocalist Danny Hutton's band, Danny Hutton Hitters. 
Also noteworthy is the inclusion of Echo and the Bunnymen's Bring on the Dancing Horses, which, according to the liner notes of the CD release of the band's compilation album Songs to Learn and Sing, was recorded specifically for the film. The film also includes Otis Redding's Try a Little Tenderness, which actor John Cryer's character Ducky lip-syncs to in the film, the association's Cherish, and Talk Back's Rudy. These three tracks do not appear on the official soundtrack. The soundtrack was released on vinyl in 1986. It was re-released in 2013 as a limited edition on pink-colored vinyl. The album was listed among Best Movie Soundtracks, the 15 film music compilations that'll change your life in the Huffington Post, and the 25 greatest soundtracks of all time in Rolling Stone. All music rated it 4 stars out of 5. <laughs> <laughs> singles released <laughs>